this is just bad. <laughs> really, really, really bad. Bad, bad, bad. I mean, just from beginning to end, it's just terrible. The very first church was the Catholic Church. Yes. In Acts chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, it's, it's talking about the apostles and the disciples, the very first apostles. They were praying in the upper room, waiting for the Holy Spirit. This was the very number one first church in the existence of the world of Jesus Christ. Nothing that they were doing is what the Catholics do. The Catholics don't pray and seek the Holy Spirit to fill them. They were doing something different than what the Catholic Church teaches. So how could it be? They weren't baptizing any babies in water in the upper room. Uh, they didn't have priestly robes. They weren't giving communion. They weren't making paintings and pictures and talking to the, to the saints in heaven such as Moses and Isaiah and Ezekiel. It's low-level argumentation. And you'll notice his shotgun style where he just talks and talks and talks and gives one thing after another, after another, after another, after another, and doesn't even allow the man a chance to talk. Did you see the man have a chance to talk? No, you didn't, because he just gives one thing after another, so you don't even have time to say anything. And we did a whole debunking of him on our YouTube channel, and we showed this extensively. And we also offered him a debate invitation. We invited him to have a debate, but of course, he didn't accept it. And so we just make videos to try to clear up the misconceptions and the errors that he says constantly about the Catholic Church. And this one, almost everything he says comes back to bite him in the butt because the same arguments he uses against the Catholic Church disprove really his own arguments in Christianity in general. One of his biggest points of contention was that the Catholic Church can't be the true church because in the upper room, the apostles were praying for the Holy Spirit and they were praying to be filled with the Holy Spirit. He said Catholics don't pray or seek the Holy Spirit to fill them. Really? Where do you get that from? I mean, just because he says it, I guess he expects people to believe it. Last time I checked, we had a prayer that says, Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in us the fire of thy love. Now that's a prayer that all good Catholics pray. We're praying to be filled with the Holy Spirit and the fire of his love. How is that not praying for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit? How is that not praying for the Holy Spirit to come fill us? I mean, we literally have a prayer in the Catholic Church called the prayer for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, that he may fill us. Like, Joseph Abraham, the Cleveland Street preacher, is speaking about things he has no idea what he's talking about. We have Novena to the Holy Spirit, which talks about not only being filled with the Holy Spirit, but also the gifts of the Holy Spirit. There's also a prayer in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, which says, Heavenly King, Counselor Spirit, Spirit of Truth, present everywhere and filling all things, treasure of all good and source of all life, come, dwell in us, cleanse us, save us, you who are all good. So we are literally asking the Holy Spirit to fill us. So He's speaking of things that he's just naive, and he speaks so confidently from such a naive position. It's really, really sad. These people are so blind. Please pray for him. If we were to use his own logic in every aspect of Christianity, it wouldn't hold up at all. Because what he says, oh, well, it, they weren't doing this in the upper room. They weren't doing that in the upper room. They weren't baptizing infants. They weren't painting pictures of the saints in the upper room. They weren't giving communion. They weren't wearing priestly robes. So clearly they couldn't be Catholic. By that logic, they couldn't even be Christian because they weren't giving communion in the upper room. They weren't celebrating the breaking of the bread in the upper room. They weren't baptizing anybody, Joseph, in the upper room. So therefore, by your own logic, baptism is bad because it wasn't specifically done in the upper room. They weren't pastoring people or shepherding them, Joseph, in the upper room. They weren't playing drums and worshiping on guitars up there and leading a, a congregation and pastoring people. They weren't preaching on the streets, Joseph, up there. They didn't have a megaphone out the window sharing the gospel with people. No, they didn't. So there goes your whole ministry based on your whole logic, Joseph. Doesn't even make any sense. And what did they do after they left the upper room. What did they do? They went out and preached and shared the good news, but that was after. And what else did they do? They went out and baptized. They celebrated the Lord's Supper, communion, Joseph. Same apostles that Jesus gave his authority to, the same first bishops of the church, even Peter the Pope, who alone received the keys of the kingdom of heaven, these same bishops that Jesus ordained and gave his authority to in the upper room went out and did these things. 
They went out and preached, then they went out and baptized, and they went out and did communion and other things like that. They didn't go play drum sets and guitars at church. They didn't do a lot of the things. They certainly didn't believe in the Bible alone. They certainly didn't preach faith alone and many of the other Protestant doctrines out there. But the bottom line is they did go out and do these things after because not everything needs to take place in the upper room for it to be true. So check out our other video on the Cleveland Street Preacher. We will link it here at the end or below. And uh, thanks for watching today. Please share it with everybody so we can get the truth out there. And please like it and comment if you have any questions about the Catholic Church. Any any. Anything you ever want to know, you can put it in the comment section below, or we have a link in our description section. Also, feel free to follow us on social media for daily inspiration. And if you would like to support our ministry, PayPal and Patreon are the way, and the links are below. And finally, if you would like a Catholic speaker at your parish, a retreat, check out our website, catholictruth.org.